All right, we're gonna show you how to use Waze on your Tesla. Um, right now you can only do this on an S or an X uh, because the three does not have a browser yet, but the browser is coming to the three, so stay tight for that. This is a shot of what you would see. So the easiest way to find this, the website's up here on the top and I can post a link, but it doesn't work within your home. It's not gonna do any good there. Click on there and you can't do YouTube in your car, so. Way I usually find it when I get a new car or a loaner or something like that. I need to find this, go to Google. And just type in Tesla Ways. Search. And you're looking for this guy right here, the Tesla Ways that azurewebsites.net you see it loading up we are on LTE but that's also probably a little bit to do with the MCU speed of the screen it's faster now and just the server that's on this is your default view here, so you do have options. The things you'll see here, some landmarks noted here, we are at a supercharger right now. It's that little red dot right there. Click on that, supercharger, shows we have eight stalls, elevation, date it was open, some kind of cool stuff like that. Web page will jump you to the actual Tesla website link for it. Uh, your freeways, these little red hashes right here are indicators for speed traps. That's a newer feature that showed up in here. And uh, it does show police vehicles. There was one a little while ago, he's gone now. Before I zoom out, I bet you will find some. See more speed traps hopping up here red police icon means they're hidden it's the different colors for traffic so there's red red up here for traffic uh, shoulders so all these things are clickable so if you click on the the red cop US 101 southbound he's hiding so that's the red there's two reports in this area you can cycle them Let's see what the next one was There you go. So right next to it, since they're close to each other, hazard, object on the shoulder, cover bar on the road, shows you the comments and thumbs up. And as they start to get old and nobody's commenting on them, they'll start fading out and you'll start seeing ones that are a cop that's faded. That means there was a report a while ago and nobody's confirmed it recently. So that's another indicator they might be gone already. So other things, there's more features though. So you can go to settings, this little wheel at the bottom. You can set your default zoom levels that you're on. Auto mode, this is a new feature also with the new latest kind of update that probably came out beginning of 2018. Auto uh, day and night settings, so you don't have to worry about changing that. Weather, we'll show that. We're getting a little bit of rain right now. The street traffic, which you saw in the green uh, versus orange and red colors, traffic jams. Here's your accident alerts, road closures, construction, hazards, police, police hiding. This is a good uh, summary of all your symbols. Uh, cameras, so if there's any red light cameras, speeding cameras, you can also report them. Tolls, police traps, so that's the, uh, the red hash like I mentioned, that's kind of beta, but for the most part it's been pretty accurate that I've seen. So we also just turned on weather. Exit out that, saves it, reloads. That's This is your weather bar basically down here. So 
So it gives you your speed, <clears throat> should show elevation. But then you can also click here on. This should reload it. Otherwise, you can always. There you go. It shows the clouds over. The yellow indicating the heavier rain. So if you go to change this one more time to severe, take away, and it should only show the yellow little speck there in the corner. And then you see the elevation showed up. It's like I was saying, if it's not loading or it seems to be stuck, just hit refresh, you won't lose anything, and just come back and reload the page. We'll see if that comes back. It may not be severe enough weather for it. There you go. It's a little bit cleaner map, just shows you where the heavy spots are. And that could be useful when you're navigating some of some heavy climates and you're trying to factor in weather and range and wind speeds for headwind. Uh, when you're traveling, since we're parked right now, but when you're traveling and you have this on, it will actually, there you go, it's a circle, it shows you the direction of the wind. Uh, so you can tell if it's behind you or in front of you, which also gives you a little boost. And obviously this, you like this website, you're gonna to wanna to go right here, his little plus heart, add it to your favorites is already on my favorites. Let me just add it again. Go here and you know just click on that when you're not uh, changing your website for other stuff. So there you have it. That's how you have ways. I use this primarily when I'm driving my uh, watching out for stuff that's going on the road or anybody hidden around the corners. I also have a Valentine one installed. Um, but then when I'm traveling you can still use your navigation throw it on and then when you set your navigation, you get it and you're still in your on your uh, center screen of your your display behind the wheel, and you get your turns there. And you turn on your audible alerts and stuff like that. But generally, I know where I'm going or I know the gist of it. And you can always cycle it on, go split screen like this. But going full screen, you do get a bigger picture of what's coming up. This is not turn. It's always uh, with north north uh, up top. So if you're driving this way, not going to do you much good. Um, and you can see here also, so the Tesla map shows the supercharger as well. Let's see. Let me switch this guy to north, so there you go, now it matches. You know, we're zoomed in, so it's like that. So you get that. Set of installs, that's me here all by myself. There you have it. That's how to get ways on your screen for your S and X and eventually a 3. Uh, 3 does have that nice little center spot here for your phone that makes it handy though. You may not need to use this. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, share it. Let us know what else you want to see.